Rick Kong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Today, I'm with Alan Ball and Paul Bettany, and we are talking Uncle Frank. Alan, I wanted to start with you, because as I'm watching this, I'm wondering, is this one of your most personal works? Uh, Yes, this is one of the most personal things. Uh, When I came out of the closet to my mother 30 years ago, she said, well, I blame your father for this because I believe he was that way too. And uh, later I found out about a young man that my father was, according to my mom, extremely close to, who drowned and who he accompanied uh, the body of on a train back to their hometown of Asheville, North Carolina, when he was a very, very young man. So there was that, me sort of going like, well, I don't know if he was gay, I never will know because he was already dead, but what if? What if that were true? What would that story have been? And then also, I experienced a really traumatic event of my own when I was 13 years old. I was in a car accident and my sister was killed. And I sort of blamed myself for many years because she was driving me to my piano lesson. So Frank's confronting of his tragedy is a way of me working out, confronting my own tragedy. So it's in those in in that respect, it is very personal. I wouldn't say it's autobiographical, Mm -hmm. but uh, it's very personal. I wanted to know how is the experience being in this project for you both? And Lois, I wanted to start with you because you've been a part of an Alan Ball production before. Yes, it was really a pleasure to be uh, to be in True Blood with Alan Ball. And because I was there right at the beginning, that meant that he, he was there a lot. I mean, he, he would, it was starting, you know, and that, so that was exciting. Uh, un- unfortunately, my character came to a dreadful end not not very long down the pike. But but then he called me some t- some years later and offered me this very different, very different project. Uh, a, a pleasure to say yes to Alan Ball. It was really an honor. I mean, he is such a talented writer, and he. Uh, the fact that he sent me the script and wanted me to play this role, it felt like um, I felt like I was like I had to pinch myself, like I was dreaming. <laughs> um, like you start out your career hoping that these days will come where like these amazing talents will just like call you, and and once in a while it actually happens. <laughs> um, it was really great. I will I would do anything he asked me to. Peter, your your character, you know, you play this loving boyfriend. And your, your character is hilarious. I loved your character. Like your, your character is like one of the best things in the movie. How was it working with Paul? Because he had so many heavy scenes. And, you know, at one point, you know, you guys have like a very intense scene together. A couple mm. of times, I guess, really. But Yeah, magically, it just happens. I mean, that's why we're actors, I guess. You pick on the vibes how things should happen. So with Sophia, it was this way. And with Paul, it was this way. I mean, despite his love to him, there was... There, it was a tense moment, you know, he didn't want him to go and meet his family. He didn't want him to do this and that. And Wally wanted wanted to do that, but th- there's this strife nevertheless. It was very interesting. I mean, we, we both are very professional, obviously, and, and we know what we're doing and under the guidance of Alan Ball. So uh, it was great. I mean, you know, it, it went really well. And Sophia, like, how was it working for, you know, how was it working for you with Paul? Because he is Uncle Frank and, is it interesting to see him, you know, like when, when the camera stopped rolling, for him to be English, and then when the camera start rolling, all of a sudden he's like Southern. Oh no, it, yeah, it was shocking to me. I was out the Southern accent specifically. Uh, I didn't know what, how to do it. And I, I was probably even, a hard, it's probably harder for, I think, uh, English English people because the accent is just completely different. It's on, you use different side, different parts of your mouth and just the whole, part of it it's just it's it's hard it to transition but he did it so well and I remember him talking about it. he's like oh I didn't have a tutor I forget what he said it was something surprised me I was like you did that by yourself <laughs> that's insane I didn't do that I obviously I most definitely had someone helping me on that and then Paul for you how is it doing those emotional scenes you know are you I'd, I would be pacing back and forth, not being able to sleep at night, or I don't know if there's like a like a long, like a good conversation with you and Alan to get to where you need to be to, you know, just cry and just like lose it. You know, it's often in those scenes where the, the, the pressure is that you know that that's the scene they're not gonna be able to cut out. There are a bunch of scenes in movies that you shoot and you go, I don't know if this is gonna make it to the uh, streaming platform. 
Uh, but you know that the scene at the graveyard um, has got to be in there. And you know that you got to kind of get it right. Or otherwise, the movie is not going to work. And that's a, that's stressful. And you can feel that date coming up. You keep looking at the schedule with one eye, kind of go, oh, God, it's next week. And um, well, a couple of things go your way. Sometimes you wake up and you just feel more creative. It's like anybody. I, I, well, I mean, I think. Uh, I, I see it. You wake up and you feel more creative or less creative. And I felt in a, in a, in a good place that day. And, and then I had a really empathetic director who was able to, <laughs> um, you know, w what he needed to kind of do with me. And, um, and that, was, that, was, that, was, that was wonderful. Alan, I wanted to tell you, thank you so much for sharing all that you just shared with me and telling the story. You're amazing. Paul, you are also brilliant. The movie is Uncle Frank. You can catch it on Amazon Prime Video. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong. video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and get notified of our latest entertainment interviews.